the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques that help to deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about the pelvic dance. So fourth segment on rotation, and again, we're looking at the pelvic rib ring and how the pelvis organizes around the stability of our thorax. So Casey is going to get this nice squishy overball and put it right under the back center of her pelvis. Right, so she has that support, but also that movement that she has to organize around. Her feet are in parallel, her legs are in parallel. And what I'm looking for here is that she finds a sense of letting the back of the heart, letting the fabric between the shoulder blades open and fall into the mat, and that she also allows the back of her rib cage to hang towards the floor under her. So there's a number of things at first we can do here, but um, a number of different arm positions. But what I want her to try first is giving herself a big hug with the left arm crossed in front of the right. So she's just reaching around for the tips of her shoulder blades. Good. And that gives me a little bit of room that I might be able to sneak these little war warm smart spines under her rib cage. And I know she won't mind having this <laughs> warmth <laughs> of the smart spine under her rib cage. So this just builds up the floor just a little bit, especially for those side ribs, right, that feel a little bit lonely. They can't find the floor. So it gives it a little bit of purchase area for those, those side ribs. So with this arrangement of the arms, we're again, we're encouraging that opening of the back of the heart and the mid back. So from here, keeping everything still, I just want to see one long, deep inhale where she widens the back of her body. And then maybe she opens the mouth and on the exhale, she feels her sternum and her ribs move away from the front of the neck and the chin. And again, deep inhale, beautiful. And on a soft, tension-free exhale, she washes her breastbone away from the neck and the chin. And because, a well, with everyone, but especially when we're talking about scoliosis too, which Casey has, the twist of the connective tissue is so habitual. So let's have the right arm now crossed in front, and it'll just feel like a whole different thing here. So again, the pelvis is heavy, back of the ribs are heavy, but because she has this different twist in the connective tissue of her arms, she's going to have a different experience. So deep inhale, and on the exhale, releasing. Good. And again, deep inhale. And from my eye, I'm interested in Casey's experience, it doesn't look like you have the freedom of breath here with this twist of the arms. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. All right, so switch it. If we had more time, I would probably keep her in that position. But just to demonstrate what we have to do here in the pelvis, I'll let her go to her easier twist of the arms. So she's going to keep standing into the back of her rib cage. And on her inhale, I want her to tip her pubic bone down towards her feet. That's her inhale. And then on the exhale, allow the pelvis to spill back towards the face. Beautiful. Inhale. The pelvis moves forward, and on the exhale, I'm bringing my fingers into her spine here. I'm, I'm putting my hand underneath and reaching up between her spinous processes. Because on the exhale, I want to make sure when she rolls her pelvis back that there's a nice opening, a nice give in the tissue. And again, inhale, she rolls her pelvis forward. And then on the exhale, as she rolls herself back, I want to feel that hammocking in the back of her body. And then gently come to a neutral position. So the other little dance here, the pelvis is side to side, which is very, very difficult. So she stands into that stable, wide back of her rib cage. And I want to see a, trans, uh, a translatory rotation towards the camera. So that's to the right side. And then gently come back to center. Good, and then a transverse rotation over here to the left, which is her harder side. We saw that on a different segment. And gently back to the center. So I want her to do two more and rotating to the right. Does that feel easier for you, Case? Yes, Good, yes. and then gently come back to the center. Still 
standing into that stable back of the ribcage. Now make this really small and imagine that the pelvis is sweeping the ball towards the camera. Yes, much better. And then gently come to center. All right, we're running out of time, but I just wanna make the point that on that harder side, please have the clients go in a very, very small range of motion. You can't go from zero to 100. It's not gonna be like the other side. You have to keep it small and consistent if you wanna slowly encourage them into more of their symmetrical body. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question that you'd like to see answered in an upcoming episode, comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum. See you next time and never stop learning.